I absolutely love sure, it. These do not have to be perfect. Just have to work for you. Again, you're going to feel to put those two pieces together. And then once they feel good enough. <laughs> the tip to tell where you want your extensions is to go ahead and tuck your hair right there behind your ear. That's where you're going to want to start your extension is behind where you tuck. That's where you want to put them right starting there. And then to remove the tab, you simply pull up and it will reveal the sticky part. I like now, to pre-remove the just two at a time so they don't stick to anything else and then you're ready to put that second piece on. My clips here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I divide up my hair sections. Coil oh, I'm going to just take a little bit right here. Like I said, just kind of feel for where you're at. Then you're gonna take your piece here and come like, like I said, it's feeling. Don't put it right up against your scalp. You're going to want to leave a little bit of room. Man, I hope I'm recording this okay. Then you're going to take your next piece and you're going to feel for where that piece is. And then you're just, once you can tell it's on top of each other, go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure back and forth that heat's going to help the glue you see that let's go the second one again just go by feeling the more you do this the more you'll be able to feel what you're feeling for if that makes sense and again you're going to feel Put those two pieces together and then once they feel good enough <laughs> squeeze and there is your second piece all right so that one is all right oh, too close to in there I want a little more thickness right here on the side. So I'm gonna show you where I place these. Then I'm just gonna. And there that is. Put it a little bit of a diagonal, it helps. It'll make a difference when it lays down this point just kind of evaluate the thickness is it feel where you want it when you put it in the ponytail does it feel good you don't want too much in that it's just it's heavy because that's not comfortable you want just enough in and if you're skilled at working your heating tools and your blow dryers and stuff like that and you'll be able to really make your hair blend. Now I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to blend your hair in to your extensions, okay? So find your natural part. I have a huge cowlick right here on top, so my natural part is wonky, so I have to kinda, you know, make it do its thing. But now you can kinda see here where my bangs are. Now this is just something I do because it works for me. So I just take my scissors and I just barely, you see, see what it did? Gave it those layers right there. And I just do that throughout. So I go where my hair is the longest, obviously, underneath. So find where your natural hair. So my length starts here. So I will just kind of, you know, blend it in. And you'll, you'll get the hang of it. You'll do it yourself. You'll figure it out. 
how to blend and make everything look good. But that's literally what I do. Another way is if you really do have short, short layers up top, let me show you. You're gonna bend over completely. You're gonna get all your hair forward, okay? All of it. You're gonna go to your first extension length that you put and see how long it is? So it goes to here. So you'll take your hair, let that piece fall. Anything you have left over up top is hair that you can layer. I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna show you. All right, so now, because all this hair is at its length, I just take it, and that's what I do. Don't snip too hard. You know what I mean? Just little short, 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 very fine. Don't take a hold. <laughs> You know what I mean? Things I want to remind you guys is these are tape extensions at home. You don't have to be perfect. You just need a little bit of instruction and a little bit of help getting them in. I am not a professional. I don't claim to be. I've just done this enough to know how to get them in and out without hurting my hair and to make them look pretty good. So the rose that we put in today was just a light one. I can add a few more pieces, which I'm going to in my next video. This was just a basic installation and a basic self trim from someone that just does this at home to make her extensions look good. And I just want to help you. This is my hair all fixed and curled. It flows. It looks good. I can tuck it behind my ear. You guys, you don't have to be a pro. Just be a little confident and give it a try.